What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to show you the new, I mean, so much new X-Class. So this is the Mercedes SUV, so we're gonna go quickly into a review. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. Okay, this is the, the X-Class Mercedes SUV. This is 250D, 190 horsepower diesel engine formatic of course with seven speed automatic transmission uh, i think the car looks excellent uh, on the front the rear lights you'll see uh, they look a little bit less appealing but the front uh, is this mercedes uh, classic you have this uh, lights here big grill uh, looks masculine you have the parking sensors little camera over there on the bottom i have a br uh, chrome bumper I mean, grill, uh, uh, fog lights, and you have a little uh, skirt here. Could this is a more of a uh, you know construction site utility vehicle or for your um, you know uh, work? It's not mostly used in Europe. It's more uh, used in the US, but even now in Europe, it's really. Uh, slightly became popular not that not as much as uh, SUVs uh, pickups are not that uh, you know in demand here but you can see this car has 360 parking uh, with four of these cameras with fish eye lenses for 180 degrees uh, you have this skirt uh, to climb in this car has chrome handles uh, chrome base on the top and chrome roof racks would be nice on 10 on the top you have a big brake light uh, you have operated back window uh, of course from both sides you have this on this side it's the diesel on the other side add blue uh, these are i believe i saw it on the tire uh, 17 inch uh, large wheels actually not 17 inch but uh, these are the back lights uh, as you can see, they look pretty boring. Uh, they don't look like a Mercedes. Without the sign, you wouldn't recognize it. You have, of course, parking sensors, chrome bumper, uh, lights here that are not LED for your plates. Uh, of course, another camera here, physical lock key. Pull this, and you have a, a flat, uh, you know, load area. You have this, uh, so you can put a cover. On the top, you can you know uh, adjust them, like you know unscrew and then move them left or right. Um, this is the back look. Of course, there's an add blue here, as you can see, and just to see, make sure on the tire. Um, trying to read from the tire this is the 19 inch wheels of course uh, they don't look like 17 inch this is the space and the looks inside um, not too modern with the latest redesign but let's head inside and see how uh, roomy it is okay almost forgot to show you except that this is like aluminium uh, with a Benz logo the seats are electronic so you know they move they tilt electronically um not sure what this is for oh yeah the lumble and of course you have here heated options and a cooling option now as you can see inside um you got premium materials you have leather uh this looks like Aluminium, but this is plastic. This is as well as you can see, of course, plastic buttons. Spinning up there, quality robust. You have both windows here. You can uh, fold them, uh, lock the rear windows. This is leather on the bottom. You have plastic, um, big bottle area. Um, but this is tough plastic, it's not a cheap one. Of course, here you have lane assist in this car. Parking sensors, 360 camera as mentioned, uh, lights, you can turn on the exterior lights, switches just for each side. Um, 
we have you know position lights uh, you can see this comes on you have main lights or you can just leave it on auto and the display brightness of course over here you have a little switch for the uh, window on the back which I would show you but I don't have a key at the moment of course here you have a start stop button a big one of course the steering wheel is manual so you can you know adjust it up and down pull it back and forward uh, we have a nice steering wheel uh, this is the now old uh, but you know it looks nice you have you can connect your phone uh, you have this menu for the inside screen voice commands classical uh, uh, needle gauge cluster you have your uh, lights here switches and um, the lever is here on the matic a button here where you press this is a seven speed automatic uh, the big mercedes logo on the top um, on the bottom you have of course the ac which is looks pretty standard uh, dual zone probably and you have uh, drive mode so you can see here you can choose uh, front wheel drive four wheel drive you can choose push for towing i guess some other options you have option when going assist downhill uh, you have backlight over here maybe you can see better from from this angle and of course you have a 12 watt socket charger um, on the top you have navigation buttons radio media phone car and you have all four blinkers you have a cd player you have this uh, x exhaust uh, which have been changed to turbine looking, but I don't know. This is, I guess, open, closed, um, closed, open. Um, nice, you have a screen on the top here. Uh, before we get to the screen, you have this classic Mercedes uh, operation with favorites, back button, uh, click. This, this is like a rest, but this uh, in some cars is a touch feature. Of course, uh, you have here also buttons, you have uh, off-road and uh, you can turn here you can use the volume button we're gonna get to the screen menu in the moment you have like cup holders maybe some place for key the key this is a rubber of course another cup holder here without a rubber mat on the bottom manual handbrake uh, the materials this is nice uh, but this is just robust plastic on the bottom you have carpets uh, you have a armrest here, so you can even rest your arm, use the little wheel to uh, press this. You have another 12 watt char charger, SD card, two USBs, uh, big area here. Uh, it's not adjustable, doesn't slide forward. The seats are big, they're comfortable. You have nice a leather with Alcantara. And you can see the side there, you have big mirrors here uh, inside as well with dim option. Uh, on the top you have LED lights, your switches, SOS call, compartment for glasses. And you have your own, this car has a black rooftop as an option. You have here yellow light for some reason, but these are LEDs as you can see white. If we close this, you can see the big uh, mirrors. They look nice. Uh, this is sort of my driver's perspective uh, on the back uh, you can see through the mirror but uh, since it's so small you cannot really see a lot and this is kind of blocking uh, the view on that side over here you have a switch as you can see also a yellow light now let's turn on the uh, infotainment mercedes-benz i'm gonna mute this actually yeah so this is the radio um, let's just find a radio station that maybe has an eye music so the music you know the speakers are okay you have a large speaker here a speaker there a speaker there uh, on the bottom in uh, the doors and lower the volume of course you can use these shortcuts uh, okay, the navigation card is outside for some reason. I cannot show you this is locked compartment So, you know, that's locked you can uh, Leave something valuable there 
Uh, you can connect to USB here. You have phone, media connection, and you have car information. Uh, not sure why this turned off right now. Uh, maybe the system isn't hooked to the battery and you have your blinkers here, but uh, you get the uh, feeling for this One more time Okay, get a message not to get distracted And you have here a car you have time you have 360 camera when the car is on consumption um, uh, a Preference manual I need, need to turn the car for that uh, you can see here like a nice data view um, 360 camera time and Not too much because this is you know work car, but overall this is like a really pleasant um, uh, Luxury <laughs> SUV for I guess working and we're here for the passengers you have that grip over here You don't let's just end this video by showing you the back space now the doors do have Nice closing sound. Also, leather on the back, electronic windows. You have a little speaker over here, and one big uh, over here, of course, big bottle area. Uh, you have a pre lot space uh, for your legs over here. Uh, I don't believe the seats go down, but you have here also this uh, wrapping point. Now when I sit, uh, this seat, back seat is way more up, so you can see my knees are touching. If I close this, uh, I'm way up here. And let me just show you the perspective, uh, how tall is this. So uh, on the back, you should really you know, just have kids sitting here. You have uh, AC here and a 12 watt charger. I don't know if you can see it, maybe if I open the door and let more light in. but this is the uh, cockpit look it looks pretty nice uh, of course you have parking sensors here that you know you can see in your mirror and you have the little uh, thingy right this thing which I have no idea what it is but <laughs> new with the Mercedes but uh, I must say these seats uh, they're quite comfortable to sit in they're just uh, way too tall I don't believe there is any uh, thing to lower them down so they're fixed but you have this nice step if you need to climb it if you're a shorter person and that's it guys for the review of the new Mercedes X I mean it's not new it's for a year now I want to hear your opinions what do you think about it and did Mercedes make mistake by entering this market or not leave a comment below and I'm gonna see you in the next video stay safe on the road Bye. And as always, I want to thank Mercedes uh, Emil Fry Center for uh, this reviews. And I also want to show you guys the next thing which I think we should test. So I just realized they have the new CLS baby. Uh, so I think I'm going to ask if I can test drive this for you guys to make a good point of view video.